here are the seven work from home jobs you could do with no experience. Some of which we literally made me 118 grand last year. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Fasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin to remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, which is the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Check it out in the link below. So as you can see from that intro, literally from just one of these, last year we pulled in about $118,000, which is insane because, you know, my parents are super Filipino and super Asian and they told me, Mike, your only option to make six figures is to become a doctor, a dentist, a lawyer, or a nurse. And for that, of course, I needed experience. I need to go ahead and go to school, get good grades, be a good little boy, go learn a bunch of math, biology, and chemistry. And then when I would have experience, maybe when I'm like 55 years old, I could finally clear six figures in profit after paying off all of my student loan debt. And because they drained that into my brain, I had this like connotation that, that thought the only way to become successful and clear six figures is literally to go ahead and become a doctor, dentist, lawyer, or nurse. And I just thought that that was like my only options. Which is why when I started figuring out ways to, for example, work from home and working online and finding ways to go ahead and you know create interesting solutions to go ahead and allow myself to earn money, my, my, my family did not support me in the beginning whatsoever, but I knew if I was able to go ahead and do this, then I kind of got the end result, which is what they wanted anyways, was to clear six figures. But when people get started and like, well, Mike, you know, I don't have a college degree, I don't have any experience, I don't have any time, I don't know if I could go ahead and do it, I just frankly don't have any experience. How would I go ahead and do that? Well, one of the biggest things that you could do is leverage these seven work from home jobs as a complete beginner, because some of these can literally start getting you paid immediately and giving you the experience you need to start increasing your income potential. Does that make sense? So let's actually break it down. The first way, if you have no experience whatsoever, literally no experience whatsoever, is just signing up for Rev.com as a freelancer because you can literally sign up for free, get paid weekly instead of bi-weekly through PayPal. And you can see, that, like when you sign up for this, they essentially give you like either videos or audios or podcasts or even like, for example, video podcasts like these ones. Like for example, when I interview this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million on my podcast, or this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit on my podcast from the people that I've met here in Bali where I'm kind of like located and based off of working from home technically in like, you know, for example, my living room, right? I would essentially go to Rev and have them, you know, hire someone like you to go ahead and transcribe the, the actual words that I'm saying into text so I could put it on my blog. So that's the use case of it. But how much can you actually get paid? You can literally get paid 30 cents to a dollar per minute. Um, and that's for transcriptionists and captioners, kind of ones that like kind of put like in like this almost like subtitles, literally get paid 54 cents to a dollar per audio or video minute. Many of the people that get started with this make it anywhere from a grand to three grand a month uh, just doing this in their spare time. So this is something you go ahead and do. The second work from home job that you could literally do with no experience is respondent.io. Now the use case with respondent.io, so you understand why you're getting paid, is say some entrepreneur has a product, right? Uh, but of course to create a product, they need to go ahead and buy thousands of inventory and do all this product research before they could ship it out. But what if that product that they created, that they spent so much time and effort and money to get to the market, what if people don't actually want that? Which is why entrepreneurs literally go to respond.io and literally hire people like you money to just get your feedback on if you like the product or not. Does that make sense? In fact, you can see exactly how lucrative this is. Averagely hourly incentives are $200 an hour. Meaning, for example, this is like a software that people have. Um, and what it is is when you sign up, you essentially go ahead and like fill out your information. There's like a survey because they want to find out what your demographic is. So it's literally age, demographic, gender, interest, hobbies, occupation, career, all of those like details about you, right? Um, and the reason why is because certain entrepreneurs have certain customer profiles that they want to target. Like if you know, I'm selling makeup. I'm not going to want some dude to literally go ahead and, for example, review the makeup if he doesn't wear makeup, right? I'm going to want to like talk to a woman ages 25 to 44 that, you know, has spending power that, you know, literally has bought uh, like makeup and beauty wear in the past. And I would want to get their opinion of how to improve my product. Does that make sense? 
which is why people are willing to pay people like you $200 an hour because it will literally save them tens of thousands of dollars. Does that make sense? And Respondent is literally free to go ahead and sign up. Uh, they literally have these case studies everywhere and you could see that you could see all of these hourly incentives, $100, $500, 150, 150, and literally how it works. Verify your profile, get matched, participate, and literally get paid all for free. And you could also earn money referring friends and colleagues. Okay, so the third work from home job that you could literally start with no experience is Google Ads. Because think about this, okay? People have jobs because they are hired by somebody that owns that business. Even my mom's a nurse and my mom works at a hospital and, and that hospital is owned by someone that essentially is turning a profit, right? So the most valuable thing when it comes to a, a job is can you help them sell more of their widget or service or can you help them market more of their product or service? Right, and that's why Google Ads is so lucrative. I mean, it's a skill that you could easily learn for free, and you can see people from Bosnia are earning $63 an hour, guys. You can see Steve B makes $105 an hour and has earned over a million dollars, guys. And you can literally go to, for example, skillshop.withgoogle.com and just go in here, go Google Ads right there, and get certified for free and learn exactly how to run Google Ads for these businesses so that you can get paid really good money. I mean, guys, where else can you go with no degree and no experience and learn a skill where it pays you $105 an hour, right? Um, and this is something that you could just, like I said, go ahead and learn. The fourth way that I did to make money from home is a way that I made $100 a day profit, right? And it's a little bit more entrepreneurial, but I was able to do it part-time while I was a full-time college student, okay? So for those that are like, oh, I don't have the time or I don't have the experience, guys, I was in biology and chemistry class doing this in the side, not having any idea about like any online ways to make money. And the coolest thing about this is it's literally free. So essentially the motive of this is I would literally copy and paste pictures on Walmart. You can see this is going for 249 bucks. I literally paste it on eBay and wait for a sale. You can see this exact same bunk bed goes for 300 bucks, 303 bucks, 336, 361, check this out. $361. And this exact same bunk bed with the exact same picture is also on Walmart for 249 bucks, right? So essentially what it is, is I would wait for a sale and the moment I got a sale, I would get the, the money and the shipping details of the customer. I would then go and buy that product from Walmart at a lower cost and ship it directly to that customer. So just like that alone, you can see that that is a really healthy profit margins even after eBay fees. So you can see exactly why I scaled to $100 a day fast as a part-time, you know, like side hustle that I was doing. Does that make sense? Which sees me the fifth step, and that's literally being known as a cashback connoisseur, right? That's like what I like calling it. Essentially, when you look at most side hustles, you're like, oh, if you go ahead and grocery shop at Walmart and you're already buying groceries there, you might as well go through, you know, for example, a cashback site because then you can make money. Now, I don't believe in that because you then have to go ahead and spend your own money to make money. But what if you literally just double dip on the fact that you're already buying from Walmart from the fact that a customer gave you money and you double dip and earn up to $6 for every $100 that you spend that's not your own money. Do you see why this fifth way literally adds on to the fourth way? Because literally people do this as a side hustle to make money, but if you leverage this fifth way to the fourth way, you can literally make extra money for free. Like back when I was like literally 19 years old, I was spending up over $1,000 a day of my customer's money. Not my own money. People are like, oh man, I don't have a thousand dollars. Neither did I, man, I was like a teenager, right? But just doing that alone started making me a hundred dollars a day profit at home online and it started moving me from like the, the nine to five job style mentality to more of an online entrepreneur, which is where we're going. Which leads me to the sixth step that I did to literally go ahead and make money online for free uh, with not that much experience. Um, and that's leveraging amazon.com. Now, the downside about Amazon, which most people think, is they need to buy a bunch of products from China and then ship them over to Amazon. Um, but did you know there are ways to actually go around that and do it for free? Actually, if you literally go to, for example, merchbyamazon.com, you could sign up for free and upload any design, set your own list price, meaning your own price, and they print what's sold, they do fast shipping with Prime, and you earn monthly royalties for free at no upfront investment or cost to you. And literally what I did, I did this back in the day to make upwards to like $700 a day with print on demand, um, with Jesus t-shirts and elephant t-shirts. And essentially what I did is I found the t-shirt design on Pinterest, as you can see right here. Like any designs that caught my eyes, because if someone pinned it on Pinterest, odds are they wanted to buy it. 
And then I would get some graphic designer from the Philippines to go ahead and do the work for me. And you can see that some of these graphic designers literally charge $4 an hour to go ahead and do this. Essentially what I would do is I would have them model a certain style, not copy, but model, upload it on like a print on demand site. This is just one example. I even created my own website where we uploaded it on that. Right, but this is even more or less risky because it's free, right? You don't have to pay anything to sell on Amazon. And if you think about it, if you just get one sale or one t-shirt to make $100 a month, just imagine having a portfolio of t-shirt designs that can make you $100 a month. Like if I literally get like 10 designs to make me $100 a month, that's an extra $1,000 a month profit and also in passive income because Amazon is doing all the selling for you. Does that make sense? Now the seventh way that I made money, which is literally one of my more favorite ways is high ticket affiliate marketing, which essentially is anywhere from hundred dollars plus per commissions. And essentially what you become is like the marketing branch of a company with no strings attached. Meaning, you know, you're not technically hired. You're almost getting them as like an independent contractor, but they will pay you almost kind of like a bounty hunter when you help them make a sale. Cause remember, Every single job that you've worked is for a business that is trying to make sales to go ahead and make more money, right? So literally I went to munchai.com and there's some businesses and products that are going for like, for example, $3,500 as you can see right here, right? And they're literally paying 50% to people to go ahead and help them, you know, send people to their sales machine. And their sales machine most of the times is, you know, an expert in e-commerce or Amazon or for example, some type of software, they'll do like a presentation of the product or software. And if someone buys it after they do the presentation, after showing all their testimonials, because many of their students have made a lot of money, they'll literally give you half of their sale as commissions. That's literally how, you know, for example, I made 10 grand in a single month with just a couple minutes of work a day because someone else did all the hard work and I used the concept known as leverage. And I was able to do this while traveling and visiting my grandma in the Philippines. That's literally how, for example, another way, you know, we literally pulled in 118,000 net commissions in another product. And you can see all the time we literally pulled in, you know, about like, for example, 346,000 net commissions, right? Well, this is just what I was able to do. But if all of this seems really complicated and you want to find out how other people that were completely normal that just watch videos like this, but then were able to go from zero to 30 grand a month with this method without showing their face on camera and without making videos like what I do, like Dean at age 30, 47 and Greg at age 58 years old. If you want to find the brand new method this year, then sign up for this week's free workshop below as well. Check out this video and this podcast right here. Hopefully this helps with you guys. See you guys later. Woo!